Welcome back to Dorking Tech Tips. Today we will be showing you how to grant permission to another user ID so that they can edit your DKS Cloud account online. Let's get started by logging into the primary DKS Cloud account at https colon forward slash forward slash access.dorking.com. Now that you are logged into your DKS Cloud account, you will also need to log into your online profile. To do this, click on IAM Server slash DK Cellular Registration in the top center. You should be directed to your online profile login. Go ahead and log in with your primary user ID that has the account you want to grant permissions to. Once logged into your online profile, click on Entry Systems in the top middle to pull up all your registered systems. You should now see all the entry systems your user ID can grant DKS Cloud privileges to. If you do not see the entry system you are looking for, please use our chat now button and have the phone number for the entry system so that we can help you find the correct user ID. Luckily the account we will be granting access to is in our list. For the account to work on the DKS Cloud it must say active in the cloud column. If it does not say active, you will also be able to activate it at this time. To pull up the entry system menu, simply click on the entry system you want to edit. As you can see, with the edit pop-up now open, you can enable and disable the DKS Cloud service here. However, there is a more detailed video on enabling for the DKS Cloud, so please check that out on our website dorking.com forward slash cloud videos. Today's focus is on the Manage Users section at the bottom. The Manage Users section is where you can give user IDs permission to edit the residents, vendors, and all other data for the system in the cloud. To give someone permission to edit the account, you will need their user ID. If they have not yet created one, please have them check out our video on creating a data-only user ID at dorking.com forward slash cloud videos. Since we already have the user ID we will be giving permission to, all you will need to do is enter the user ID here. Once you have entered the user ID, click the Add User ID button. You should now get a message at the bottom of the page indicating that the user ID is now allowed to use the phone number and master code for the entry system you selected. All that's left now is to have the user you granted permission to log into their cloud account and see if they have a new system. It should show up with the name you have in your online profile. Here I will show you by logging into the account we gave permission to, there is a new system. With the entry system now showing up in their DKS Cloud account, you have successfully granted permission to the user. And we'll see you next time for more Dorking Tech Tips.